wisdom, part three. The next day, after school, Wonderful came round to play with O.K. and Charlie. But first she was asking about Tracy chewing gum. O.K. said, I see her at school, but she doesn't talk to me or even want to play with me anymore for a long time now. It does upset me, but I like it at Sunday school. Wonderful said, we should pray for Tracy chewing gum. You know, like we did when she had her stickiness. Charlie shouted, What for? She's not praying for us. She's making fun about OK's name now because her other name is Duck. Charlie said to OK, Why don't you just call yourself K? Wonderful said, Let's just pray for Tracy Chewingle. Maybe she was excited to come to Sunday school and I wasn't very well for a short time and she was thinking that it's not going to happen. So she started making friends with other people who are now her friends. But they are not the right friends, are they? Because you said they laugh and make fun of people. They would probably make fun of her too if she was still sticking. OK, said to Charlie. Come on, Charlie. I don't think Jesus would like us not to pray for Tracy chewing gum. Remember, he loves everybody. But, uh, but, she said horrible things, Charlie said. Do I have to? Wonderful said, no, you don't have to, but you would make Jesus smile if you did, because he loves you too. Charlie was thinking of a big smile on Jesus' face and said, I want to make Jesus smile. So Wonderful started to pray and said, please Jesus. O.K. and Charlie came to Sunday school yesterday and they heard the story about you walking on the water and you became their hero. Could you please help Tracy Chewingham remember that it was you who helped her not to stick anymore and helped her and help her to remember it was okay and Charlie that told her about you even when they didn't know about you themselves and were her friends even when she was sticking thank you Jesus okay nudged Charlie and Charlie said thank you Jesus It was nearly a year now since Tracy Chewingham was sticking anymore and wasn't speaking to O.K. and Charlie. But it was coming up to her birthday again in two days' time, on Sunday, because last year it was on a Saturday. It was Friday night when Tracy Chewingham went to sleep and she had a dream and she dreamt that she had her stickiness again. And it got worse that she couldn't move without pulling up the rugs and carpets and even things that she touched. And the cream didn't last long anymore. And when her friends called for her to play, she put some cream on quickly and came to the door. This was all in the dream. And they said, Are you coming to play, Tracy? They were shouting, Are you coming to play, Tracy? She said, Yes. But when they said, Come on then, she couldn't move without taking the doormat with her. 
because the cream was wearing off so quickly and her friends laughed. They looked at each other and said, Did you see that? She's weird. She's weird. And left her and made fun laughing as they went away. And then she woke up out of her dream. Tracy Chewing Gum began to think, Are they really my friends? She remembered that O.K. and Charlie were her only two friends when she was sticking and felt so sad that she was horrible to them and she remembered that she prayed to Jesus and he took her stickiness all away and she forgot about him too. When she got out of bed, when she got out of her bed, she knelt down and said, Jesus, Jesus, are you still there? Can you hear me? Are you still there? And she began to cry because she thought Jesus had gone away. Because she had gone away from OK and Charlie. She didn't know what else to say. She sobbed and sobbed in the blanket. And it was so wet and damp. She put her head in the blanket so her mommy wouldn't hear her. And then she fell asleep. <laughs> then, as she was just nearly waking up in the morning, she heard someone say, my child, I have never left you. At the same time her mum called her, Tracy, Tracy, your breakfast is nearly ready. She got a bit confused with the voices. And then when she turned over in the bed, she heard again, My child, I have never left you. She knew it was Jesus this time because she felt so calm again, like the first time. And the voice was so soft, it was like the voice held her in its arms. And she was so excited, she started to laugh with joy within herself. And she said in her mind, He's not left me. He's not left me. And to her surprise, she heard the voice say, That's right, my child. I have never left you and will never leave you. She was shocked because she didn't say anything. She was wondering if he can hear what she was thinking, she thought. Straight away she got dressed and had her breakfast and said to her mummy, Oh mummy, can I use the phone to phone OK and Charlie? I would like to go to Sunday school with them tomorrow and want them to come to my house because it's my birthday. When OK received the phone call, she smiled with joy silently in her heart too because she remembered the prayer that wonderful prayed when she was at their house and thought Jesus did it again. OK began to really believe in Jesus and Charlie and Tracy Chewingham now and they continued to go to Sunday school together until OK's mum and dad decided they would attend church too with Tracy Chewingham's mum as well. And what happened to Tracy Chewingham's other friends? Well, they all fell out with each other and made new friends. And that is the end of the story.
Hope you enjoy.